Morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The time is 11.53 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have less than a minute. We have less than one minute. But like I said, hey, I'm here every morning. What about you? Let me guess. Not here every morning. Yikes. Just kidding. It really doesn't matter. And it's on me. It's my fault. I know. <clears throat> Let's see what this is all about with the time we have. You're an novice alchemist, wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Found an old abandoned house on the edge of the town. Judging. By the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here. But the layer of dust and condition, the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. Shop opening. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, uh, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Dot, dot, dot. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them into the cauldron. Pay attention to the alchemy map. Ingredient, okay, cool. Let's do it. In you go. In you go. Two of each. We like to do it separately. Stirring. Heating. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You add a new effect to the potion. Healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Mortar and pestle. The mortar and pestle are the alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. Take terraria from your inventory and place it into the mortar. Terraria, a video game, very popular, looking like Oh, roots. Dried roots. Now we're gonna grind it up. Ah, yeah. Nice, fine. To the cauldron. Completely grind the water boom. See it moving in the distance. So we can grind it up. Does it make the same thing? Saving a potion recipe. And finish the potion. Nicely done. Nicely done. It's the same things or what? Mm hmm. The same things, same outcomes. Moving between rooms. You are the owner of the potion shop, and your task is not only brew potions, but sell them to the customers. A customer has arrived, go to the shop for. Moving between rooms, navigation WASD. Pay offering potions for sale. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop by various magic potions. To buy them, of course. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions may be brewed for a specific purpose, hmm. But it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand, just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Ooh. Mm. Want ten? Haggle. Ooh, try haggling for a better price. Say less. What? 
topic weather very if you don't know how to start a conversation talk about talk about the weather good deal bad deal very easy so it's rainy weather haggle haggle what rain or shine what rain oh i'm guessing this is the better the best price i'm gonna get 10 extra sell for 10 wait this is exactly the amount lack of suitable potions You'll often not have a ready-made potion for our certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make a potion they need to succeed. There is no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe client will not leave. Ah. Enchanted garden. Let me grab the one of these. One of these. Making a poison. What the fuck? Try making a potion yourself. Don't forget to use all the alchemy equipment. Nice ground and pound and then you know the terraria 2.0 on nintendo switch I heat this puppy dog oh, don't forget to stir it of course you're pissing me off nice hey hey i got something for you you're gonna like this poison and like the way you look. Let's talk about food. You like food? I love food. We got this, we got pretzels, we got we got tomatoes, tomatoes, hams, yams. Okay, well, it's kind of confusing me. I'm not sure what kind of food you like to talk about, but uh, oh, you already haggled, sell for 15. What is this? The best price, more profitable than the original. Deal by two. Customer will pay 15. Uh, interesting. We'll have to see what exactly all this meant. We're not too sure. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have the rest. A rest in your bedroom. It is located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom to end the day. Okay, let me go to my bedroom then. How about that? Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. To end the day, click on the bed to confirm you want to end the day. And we are... Ladies and gentlemen, the potion seller. End of the tutorial. Congratulations, guys, you did it. Excellent, you have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the atta attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. Wow. That's gonna do it. Glad you joined me this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now 12.03 p.m. Eastern Time, January 3rd, 2023. And this was tutorial phase of Potion Craft. We'll be dissecting and exploring this a lot more. Will you be there? If not, don't worry, I gotcha with the videos. God bless Godspeed. Good games. Have a good afternoon and night. I'll see ya when I see ya.